Hi, I'm going to make a quick review about drone plane, the professional surveying drone. Here we have drone plane, the carry case. It is it's around three and a half kilogram, and its size is around six to thirty centimeter, and height around fifteen centimeter. It is very comfortable and easy to carry with you. And so let's have a look what we have inside. So this includes so let's open up the case. So we have on the top the wings, it is made out of EPP foam and it has two spars and two locking mechanism holes uh, tied to the central body. And this is the other part of the wing. And on the package we have hub that makes communication between drone and the tablet cablelessly and it's a standalone powered with three cell battery it has on off switch and the LED indicators Here. And we have two pack battery for the drone and we have one pack battery for the hub inside and we have charger and the charger for the camera if you buy the if you buy the camera and the, some cables so this is the central body of the plane, it includes the old electronics inside and it has several mechanisms here, controls the control uh, surfaces and we have here, this is the airspeed sensor and the antenna also inside this is the airspeed cover it, it should be covered when you power the drone so to calibrate the airspeed sensor so this is the payload compartment so we have here camera compartment and a battery compartment and the connectivity so when you buy drone if you if you buy with Sony RX camera so this is the Sony RX camera with uh, drone plane fully supports Sony's uh, latest one inch camera it is very uh, small size lightweight and the uh, uh, shockproof uh, camera drone fully supports this and then let's assemble the drone. It is very easy to assemble. It has two uh, carbon holes here, so slide to here gently. And make sure that the servo arm and the other one is aligned. And press a little bit and it's tight. Other part is the same way. Make sure that the servo arm and the eleven align, and then a little bit and it's tighten. And uh, I'm going to show you a Droney app. So let's open a Droney app. So on a Droney app, it has five tabs on the bottom. So main tab is the control. This shows the main flight parameters of the aircraft. On the top left, we have attitude on the artificial horizon. Height indicator shows the uh, altitude of the airplane and airspeed of the airplane so on the right side we have data link it shows the communication string between the drone and the hub and the battery power level of the drone and battery power level of the hub and on the bottom left and right we have joysticks this is for sim autonomous fl flight in case you need to take control of the airplane so you can just control the airplane from here so in the middle we have map so you can slide it with your finger and this plus sign is the GPS location of the tablet so basically it's a pilot and the, this small sign it shows where they when I press where they centralize the pilot in the middle of the map the straight circle is a go fence it limits the airplane to go outside of the other areas and the and the second tab is a mission tab. This tab is specifically designed for surveying applications. So on the top left we have indic two indicators. Total distance shows the total distance of the mission and estimated time of the mission. And on the bottom we have save, archive and a clear. Saves the mission to the archive and you can access to the saved missions from archive and clear the mission from the screen. So to make a mission, it's very clear. Just hold your finger on the screen, and four missions uh, parameters will pops up. So you can select the survey, add survey. You can adjust it, 
and you can see the size of the area in the middle and if you want to change the direction of the flight path so hold your both finger on the screen and rotate it and tap one more time to the empty space so now you have mission survey mission and on the left you can see the, the flight tree you can see the start and survey so if you want to add one more survey here so hold your finger and select the survey adjust change the flight direction and tap one more time and now if you want to land here hold your finger again and select land function and then tap one more time so you can adjust the approach angle so you want the airplane approach the landing point from this direction and tap one more time so now you have mission here you can save it give a name mission one save and you can access from archive you can see in one so now you have mission here and you can also change this order of the missions just by simply swap the missions and uh, and now and now you just need to start takeoff and it will send the mission to the drone and on the settings we have control tab it set the parameters of the flight altitude mission altitude and the loiter ra radius this is for semi-autonomous flight and some parameters for the live video streaming application which is i'm not going to go through it currently and survey tab and here you can select the camera from our database so already selected the rx0 and the wi-fi parameters of the camera note that the on a drone plane camera triggered via wi-fi and it supports also sequoia camera and and many other cameras so it takes the focus and other parameters from the database. You can change the resolution to the 5, let's say. And you can change the flight speed. It is optimized for 30 meters per second. So also you can change the overlap percentage. You can increase by sliding and buffer zone. And uh, here you have elevation. This is uh, if the area is not horizontal so you can activate the elevation it takes the elevation data from the internet and rearrange the flight for that elevation data route optimization is for wind condition to when you activate it it rearranged the flight uh, uh, grids for to get the less drift on the turns and curve skipping it skips the triggering the camera on on turns and that you need you can change different units to use in the app geotagging you press the start button when the airplane lands so it geotags the GPS data to the camera inside the SD card and on the bottom you can see it's written that drone will scan at 140 meter altitude and will scan 4.6 meter uh, 6 seconds interval for these parameters so geofence this is recommended to check your uh, country regulation before you fly and you can activate and deactivate it from here 